I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. What up? Thank you so much, Beauty Bees, for coming back to my channel, stopping back by. As you can tell from the description, um, title of this video, and of course, the thumbnail for this video. This video is a collaboration with Freddie MUA here on YouTube. We wanted to get together and do a collaboration. I won a giveaway that he was doing, and I was scared to ask him to do a collaboration, but I wanted to ask him to do a collaboration, and so when I asked him to do a collaboration, he said that he was gonna ask me the same thing, so it worked out great. We decided to do a little burgundy and gold moment for you. I wanted to do a cut crease, and he wanted to do a cut crease. He got done recording his video before I did, so he did a cut crease. So if you wanna learn how to do a cut crease, no worries. I will leave the description, um, not the description, I'll leave the link of his video down below in the description bar in this video. So if you're having problems with creating a cut crease or you're kinda stuck and you wanna do something new and different with a cut crease, Definitely run over to his channel and check out his video. Not only is he a sweetheart, he's extremely easy on the eye and um, he knows his stuff. So make sure you go and you check him out and support his channel as well. If you're here to my channel from his channel and you're visiting, thank you so much. I appreciate you for stopping by. Don't be a stranger. In order to do that, I'm giving away a free subscription. Become a beauty bee. Join my community that I'm trying so hard to build here on YouTube. We're all about positivity, love, light, loving up on each other, learning from each other, and just uplifting. So that's about it. That's it in a nutshell. All information you want to know or need to know will be in the description bar down below. So make sure you check that out on your way out. And let's get right to this tutorial. <laughs> Freddie, thank you so much for this opportunity, and um, let's knock this out. See you all later. Bye. Hola. Okay, so let's get right into this look. As you guys can see, my brows are already done. My foundation is done. It's like contour done. Um, so I'm basically just going to be doing eyes, lips, and blush. So I prime my eyes with the Smashbox 24 hour primer. I really like that one. And um, for our eyeshadow, we're going to use the Master Palette by Mario and Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got this. I ordered this um, as soon as it came out, but I never used it. I never did a tutorial with it. And I've just been really busy, so I felt like today would be perfect. And I'm also going to go into my Jeffree Star um, Beauty Killer Palette. The first brush I'm going to grab is the MAC 217 brush. And I'm going to go in with dun, 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 um, Anastasia Contour Kit Havana. I don't know why, but I absolutely love using contour pans for eyeshadow. I like the depth that it gives. And um, I just love it. So I'm going to put that down first and foremost. I'm going to use Havana. I'm going to buff it into the crease with my MAC 217, and I'm also going to take it underneath the eye. So next, what I'm going to do is because I don't want fall out to fall down on our beautiful foundation that we've already put down. I'm just going to take a disposable wedge and a little of my powder. If you guys haven't seen how I make my baking powder or my setting powder video, the link will be down below. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to kind of 
carve out the top of my nose area just because I've really, really been enjoying like a fierce nose contour. And just put a little powder underneath the eyes to catch any fallout. So our theme is burgundy and gold, and I'm so excited. Ben Eye Cream Shadow in Extra Dark. It's brand new and I've never used it. It's a brown tone, it's really pretty. And I'm just gonna use a small crease shader brush E47 short handle from Sigma that I got for free because I bought some Sigma brushes. So, and I'm just gonna take that on either side of the eye. And because it's a cream, we wanna kinda keep it low because when we buff it out, it'll just go way too far. So you wanna keep it low. So with my MAC 217 brush, I'm just gonna go in and kinda of buff it out a little bit. Perfect, okay. So I like that, that's gonna give us a really nice background for our burgundy shadows. So now with the clean E17 brush, I'm gonna go in with NYC from the Mario palette. And I'm gonna place it directly on top of that cream. So now with a clean 224 brush from MAC Cosmetics, I'm just gonna go in with window shield wipes, I guess you can say, whatever they say. And just go back and forth and kind of buff out those edges. Same E17 brush and same NYC, I'm going to go underneath the eye just halfway and blow it out. To keep that shadow nice and low, we're gonna do a new trick here on my channel. Take a little bit of your setting powder that you bake with, and take a little cheap brush. This brush was, I think, like a dollar. Um, wet and wild. It's a dollar wet and wild brush, and we're gonna go directly underneath the brow bone. and bring it down right on the side. And just let her bake. Trust me on this one, just trust me, okay? So, Let's just chill out with that. Let her bake. It's so much softer and prettier than using like um, concealer underneath the brow. So technically we're carving out the brow, but it's much softer because when we use our setting spray, you won't even really see it. And it's so pretty, it's so bomb. I take an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, and I'm gonna go into Fifth Avenue from the Mario palette. And I'm just gonna load one side of the brush. And I'm gonna put it directly in the middle of the eye. This will give us a nice base for what's to come. So I wanna go on record by saying this, the pigmentation in this palette is popping. Okay, go back in with our E17 and you wanna marry the edges between the burgundy and the gold together. Now we're gonna go into our Jeffree Star palette and grab the shadow Rich Bitch on the other side of our e.l.f. C brush. And pop that in the middle right on top of Fit Ave. So MAC has a blush 
called Sketch, and there's also um, an eyeshadow called Sketch. I cannot find the eyeshadow, but I can find the blush. A powder is a powder. I'm going to go in with my E17 brush and just dab. Just dab the sketch, knock the rest off, and I'm going to go on the outer corner and the inner corner of each eye just to bring a little bit more depth to that eye. Take that E17 brush with a little sketch and also darken underneath the eye. Okay, perfect. So now that that's done, I'm gonna take a clean 224 MAC brush and we're going to wipe away our bake that's underneath our brows. See that? See how it kept the shadow low? Now to further give us a gradient without giving us way too much depth, we're gonna use Havana again. We're gonna use Havana again, the contour shade on the 224 this time. And we're just gonna lightly go above the burgundy. So go like right on top and just lightly above it just to help give just a little bit more gradients. To line my waterline, top and bottom, I'm gonna use Feline from MAC Cosmetics. I'm going to um, put two glitters from MAC Cosmetics. One is a regular gold glitter, and the second one is gonna be the Reflex Gold Glitter. So the first one we're gonna put down is the Reflex Gold Glitter, and then just a very small amount of the traditional gold glitter. The traditional gold glitter is going to be a bit more chunky than the Reflex Gold Glitter. So I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Glitter Glue, which personally I think is the bomb. Just gonna put a dab on the middle of each eye. And because I don't wanna use a whole bunch of glue, a dab will do. First color I'm going to go in with is Reflex Gold. Now on top of Reflex Gold, I'm going to add just a wee little bit of the traditional gold flakes. Only in the very center of the eye. And that's pretty much that for the top of this eye look. Now my loves, let's dust away this bake. The E17 has like a bunch of different burgundy products that we used on top, so let's just use that for underneath the bottom and just smudge it out as much as you like because I want to really stay true to our collaboration. I'm not going to use a liner. Typically, I don't like to line my eyes anyway, so I'm not going to do a wing liner. However, if you want to do a wing liner, go ahead. I think it'll be really pretty. And as a matter of fact, I think Freddie did a, a wing liner um, on his cut crease look, and it was very pretty. So, I'm not going to do a liner. I'm just putting a little bit of glue on top of my Vegas May lashes so that she'll be ready when we apply them. I'm gonna use my Extended Play Giga Black Lash from MAC Cosmetics on top and bottom lashes. Go in with that same brush that we applied the glitter on and tap them so whatever glitter is left on will pop on the bottom lashes.
So, now lashes are on. First highlighter, Jeffree Star Dark Horse. Y'all already know. On the 137 MAC brush. Laura Geller, Gilded Honey. M501 brush. A very light coat on the top of the cheekbones. And around above the brow. So for blush, I'm gonna use the Iman Afterglow. I really like this because it ties in all of my glow and it gives me a little bit of color with that, that pinky tone. And so I'm gonna use the MAC 137 brush, swirl them all around, and I'm gonna put it directly on top of highlighter, cheek, everything. This is everything, this combination is so bomb. Thank you, Iman, for this. She gives you everything. So back with the Laura Geller Gilded, Laura Geller Gilded Honey, and a Morphe E39 brush, really small brush. Just take a tiny bit, and we're gonna go right above the brow, right below the brow, sorry. Just right in the highest point of the brow. And I really like using a brush like this because it can help us get like mad precise. And do the inner tear duct of the eye using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Got that light. The Buxom Serena Plumping Lip Gloss from Sephora. Charge Water from MAC Cosmetics, and then Final Seal from Benai. <laughs> and Beauty Bees Young and Old, Male and Female, I hope you enjoyed and liked this look. So if you made it this far into the video, that means you watch this video. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you subscribe to my channel. Hopefully you enjoy me, you enjoy my video, you enjoy my channel. Check out some of my other videos. I'll have them linked down in the description bar below. Also, if you want to stay in contact with me in between me doing video uploads here on YouTube, don't be afraid to check out any of my other social media platforms. Facebook is Byron Shears. Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All of that is Busy B, and I'll leave them all right here. As far as Freddie's information goes, I'll leave it in the description bar down below. So make sure you follow him on all of his social media as well. I enjoyed this so much. This was my very first collaboration. I'm sure I'll do more in the future. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Freddie, thank you so much for having me. I thoroughly appreciate it. Beauty boys to the end. So as I always say, love and light and be beautiful. Until next time, I'm Byron Shears, your gay best friend, and I'm out. Later.